Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, whoa, you hear that thunder? It kind of reminds me of the time I was attacked by those monsters. But we're not here to talk about monsters. We're here to talk about Baby Yoda, or as the kids call him, Grogu. Yep, we're going to take a look at Something Wild, the Mandalorian edition featuring Grogu, the Baby Yoda. This is a very simple game where the goal is to collect three of these power cards to win the game. You earn power cards by playing cards from your hand, a certain combo of cards to get a point. When you get a point, you can trade it in for a power card. So you can gain a point by playing three of a kind, so they'll have the same number, or by playing three in a row of the same color. So here it'd be blue, six, seven, eight. There would be three cards that are one. When you play those, you cash them in and draw a card from the power deck. So I thought it'd be easiest to go over the rules by showing a sample game versus our favorite opponent, Jabba the Hutt. So to set up the game, we separate out the power cards, place them somewhat in a central location where everyone can reach them. We put Baby Yoda there. Each player is dealt three cards. And the rest of the cards are put, whoops, don't want to shuffle that at that point. The rest of the cards are put in the middle of the board where there's room for a discard pile. We flip the top card of the power deck over and place it where everyone can reach it. So the way these power cards work is they serve two purposes. One is to win the game. When you play the combos of the cards to draw a power card, you keep it, and if you have three, you win the game. They also have a secondary ability where if you are in possession of the Baby Yoda figurine, during your turn, you can play one ability from a card either you own or a card that's in the middle. And each card, power card has a different ability, which we can go over in a minute. But I think what we'll do now is just kind of do a few sample cards versus Jabba the Hutt to show you how the game goes. So on your turn, the first thing you do is draw a card, and then you can play one card. So when you play cards, you want to look for winning combos in your hand. So here we've got a four and a five that are both purple. So we're going to hope that we can draw a purple six at some point and go for that. Otherwise, we've also got two sevens. So we could go for that to try to have three sevens. Because remember, if you have three cards in play that is either a set or a run, then you can cash it in and get a point. So we're going to go for the purple combo, and we'll start with a four, he's a bounty hunter. And now the next figure after you play, you have the option to take the figure. There's two ways you can take the figure. One is if you play a card that's matching color to the power card in the middle, you get the figure. The other option is if you play a card that has this figuring icon on it, you can take the card. I didn't play that Grogu card yet because I can get the figure since I played that purple card. So we get the figure. Now, when you have the figure, that means you can use a power. And that's the only time you can use one of the power abilities. You have to have the figure. So I could use this ability. And that ability, I believe, lets you cash in. If you have three purple cards in play, you can score with them. Well, that's not an ability I would need to do right now because I only have one purple card in play. So it will stay there. And the, again, the way you take purple, or the way you take power cards is once you have cards that you can play for a score. So I can't use a power, I can't score. And then the final part of a turn is if you have five cards in play, you have to discard down to five. But I only have one card in play. So that is the end of my turn. And now Jabba the Hutt goes. And Jabba has two number nine cards and one purple card. Now he could play the purple card to steal the power, the baby Yoda from me, but there's really no point in doing that at this point. So he's going to start with the nines and hope to get a set of nines. So he'll play, I'm gonna keep those facing us so we can see. Oh, Java forgot to draw. 
Okay, so that wouldn't have helped him anyhow. Okay, and that's the end of Jabba's turn. He can't still the figure. He can't use the power. He can't score, and he doesn't need to discard. So now it is my turn again. You draw a card. It's an eight that doesn't necessarily help, but if I would get a yellow six or nine, I could have a potential run there. So I am actually going to play the Grogu card, even though he has a figure and I can't take it because I already have the figure, but I'm going to play it just in hopes that I draw either a purple. Oh, actually, since I have Grogu, any purple card would help me score because of the power card. But anyhow, that's the end of my turn. It is once again Jabba the Hutt's turn. He drew a seven. So now he has a six and a seven, so he almost has a run also, but he's going to play this nine and hope he can score, hope he can draw another nine to score with. And that's the end of his turn. My turn again, a three. This three doesn't serve any purpose, but I do have some options here. You know, if I get a third seven, I can score on that. If I get a yellow six or nine, I can score on that. So I'm actually going to play the yellow seven because that gives me a few scoring opportunities. But that will be the end of my turn. Jabba the Hutt draws. Ooh, he drew a Grogu, but it doesn't really do him any good at this point, unless he just wants to take the card from me. But really, having that five in play doesn't help him with anything, where if he plays the seven, if he can draw a red eight, he would have a run. So he's gonna play that. And that's the end of Jabba the Hutt's turn. Tabletop Jason's turn again. I have a nine that serves no purpose right now, but if you, if you see, if I got a green eight, I would have possibility there, but I don't, so I'm gonna play this eight here and hope that I can draw either a purple card to use that force ability or you know a card to match with those two. These cards, unless I draw a green eight, these are pretty pointless too. So that is the end of my turn. Job of the Hut goes again. And I already have four cards in play, so I might have to discard at some point. Job of the Hut drew a card that doesn't help him at all either. So he's just going to play his blue five with the Grogu because it has the icon and he can steal it from me then which will help prevent me from using that card if I draw a purple. So that's why he did that. But that's the end of Job of the Hutt's turn. It's my turn again, and I drew a two. Let's see, that two doesn't help me with anything either, but if I could draw a green four, I'd be able to score. So I have some possibilities. I have to play a card though. I'm going to play this seven because if I draw a seven, I would also have a set. But next turn, I'm gonna have to discard something. That's the end of my turn. Job of the Hut, he draws. Let's see, he's got two twos now, but that doesn't help. Um, Jabba is going to play this six and hope that he can draw a card that will help with that. And that is, wait, one, two, three, four. Did he forget to play? Oh, I put that back in my hand for some reason. Okay, Jabba also has five cards in play. That's the end of Jabba the Hutt's turn. Now it's my turn. And I drew a nine, I did it. So I can play that nine. So now I have a seven, eight, nine. So I score. Goes to the discard and I get this top card. So now it remains in play, owned by me, and I can use it whenever I have Baby Yoda. 
And now that I've scored, we flip this top one over. So again, whenever you have Baby Yoda, you can use the Force ability during your turn. Now my turn is over. I've got three cards in play now. And we have a new Force card. So let's check out what that one does. Discard the top card of the deck. All other players discard a card in play that matches that card's color if possible. That's a bit of a kind of risky spoiler card, isn't it? So that card will sit here. And if Jabba the Hutt wants to use that ability, he will, and it would make sense that he would. But now it's Jabba the Hutt's turn. He draws. So he cannot score. He's going to need to play a card. Um, let's see. Well, he's got two twos. So he's going to play this two and hope he can draw another two. And now he can use a force ability since he has that. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to play that. I'm going to mess with the opponent. So he's got the force ability. So it's discard that top card. It's a three. And I got to double check how that worked. It was what? All other, other players, so not Jabba, discard a card in play that matches that card's color. Okay. Well, it was blue. I don't have any blue cards in play. So that was that. And now Jabba needs to discard a card. Let's see. He's got in his hand, he's got a two. So he's going to keep that two. This five isn't really doing him any good. So as you see, he has got potential, a nine would be a match, a red eight would be a match. That two doesn't help anything either, but so he's gonna keep the two there and discard there. So he can only have five cards in play. And that's the end of Jabba the Hutt's turn. Okay, does this five help? Not really, I'm going to, oh, it does help. Okay, I'm gonna play this five. Let's put this right there. I'm gonna play this five, because that way I get to take Grogu away from Jabba the Hutt, and that helps. And remember, since I have Yoda now, if I draw a purple card, I can score on purple. I played the five and uh, so if I get one more five or if I get a purple six or any other purple card as long as I have Yoda or I've got these so I've got some potential scoring hands I am going to use the power ability now yellow Jabba doesn't have any yellow cards so he can't doesn't have to discard and I don't have more than five cards in play so my turn is over Job of the Hutt's turn. A three. Does that three do anything? He's got two threes and he's got two twos. Well, he's going to play. Um, he's going to play this. Wait, what's he have? One, two, three, four, five. He's got five, so he has to discard something at the end of his turn. Oh man, that's too bad. So he's going to play this two. And then he needs to discard, so he's going to, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he has to discard, so he's going to discard this six. And that's the end of Job of the Hutt's turn. My turn, I'm going to play until one of us wins, even though it's taking a long time. Okay, so I can play this purple card, and even though it's not a run, since I have that force ability on my use power turn phase of my turn, I can score on those. And that is what I do. You score, you get the card, you add it to your force card pile, and flip the next one. So the next one here, question mark to up, I believe it's a swap. Swap one of your cards in play with another player's higher number card. Okay, so one of your cards you can swap in play with 
a card your opponent has, but it has to be a higher number. And that is a force ability that anyone can use. And I don't need to discard because I only have two cards in play. So now it's Jabba the Hutt's turn. Jabba draws an eight that does nothing for him. He's going to play... Oh, man. Whew, what would you do here? You, know, you have the two threes. If you play this three, but if you get a two, I almost wonder, I'm gonna play that three, and then he'll have to discard, so he's gonna discard that seven, and just hope we didn't draw a red eight next turn, or he'll feel sad. So, a two, so if Jabba the Hutt draws a two of any color, a purple four, or purple one, or a nine of any color he can score. So Job is looking in a pretty good place, except that he hasn't scored yet. And that is the end of, wait, oh man, did I forget? What did I just play? I played a purple card. If he played a red card, he'd get to steal Yoda. I kind of forgot about that rule. If you play a card that matches the power card's color, you get to keep the card. So now, can I win at this turn? Probably not. Okay, so this nine would do nothing, but I'll play this nine. Oh wait, I have two nines. Okay, I'll play that nine and hope I can draw a red eight to end the game. Um, I can do a force ability. I don't have three purples. I'm gonna do that one. Let's mess with our opponent. We draw a green card. Jabba doesn't have any green, so that ability doesn't hurt him. My turn is over. Jabba the Hutt's turn. He draws. I don't think that eight helps him at all. It could work in combination with that nine to get him a seven, but he's gonna need to discard something, so he's gonna play the Mandalorian card. And now at the end of his turn, I'll have to discard because he has six cards. He'll do that, and poor Jabba the Hutt is having just a terrible time. Now it's my turn, I draw. I don't think the seven helps anything. Well, seven or nine, I guess I'll play the, I'll play that seven and I'll use the force ability. Jabba should play next turn a red card to steal that thing from me so I can stop doing this. So it's blue, so Jabba has to get rid of a blue card. And there it goes. And now my turn is over. And now it is Jabba the Hutt's turn. And he just had a terrible, terrible draw. He doesn't have any red cards to play. He's going to play this three. He doesn't have to discard anything though. So if he could draw a two or a three, he'd be, he'd be able to score. But that's it, Jabba's turn is over. My turn, let's draw something so I can win this. Ah, no, but one doesn't help at all. I'm gonna play this nine, and now I'll have to discard next turn if I don't draw something good. Um, I'll use the force ability again. It's a green card, Jabba doesn't have any green, so he doesn't have to discard. Jabba the Hutt's turn, he draws a six, which doesn't help him at all. Um, so I guess, He's gonna play just this eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six. He needs to discard. He'll discard this nine because it no longer helps him. If he can draw another eight or a two or a three, he'd be okay. Now it's my turn. Is this gonna be it? Well, it's a five, but it's a five that doesn't help. So I'm going to just play this one because I'll have to discard at the end of my turn. I'll use my force ability again. And it's red. So poor Jabba has to discard this red two again. He just can't catch a break, can he? And now I have to discard because I have more than five cards in play. 
discard that. My turn is over. Java's turn. He draws a red eight. Yay! He's going to play that eight. And since he played a card that matches the fourth card, he gets to take Yoda away from me. So I can stop messing with him on that ability. And he's got five cards in play, so that's all he can do. Next turn, if he can hold on to those eights, he can actually score if I don't score first. But that's the end of Jabba's turn. And now my turn. I should say, if you run out of cards, then you just shuffle the discard in. Okay, I've got two twos. Well, I and two fives. Oh man, I guess I'm gonna play this three card. So I'll have to discard. I don't have a force ability anymore. So my turn, I discard and my turn is over. Jabba the Hut, he draws. He's going to play this eight. And he already has the figure. So he's gonna play that eight. And now he's going to score. Yay, Jabba finally scores. He discards the three eights. He gets this force card. We'll keep his force card right there. We flip the next force card. Let's see, a five, what does that mean? Let's pull this up, pull up the little cheat sheet. A five says, treat fives in play as any number. Fives are wild if you have the baby Yoda. That is a pretty good ability. That stays here. Wait, does it say fives are any number? Okay, so not color. So yeah, I could win the game if I had Baby Yoda, but I don't have Baby Yoda. So now it's my turn. I draw, but I'm gonna get Baby Yoda. Okay, so I'm gonna play this five so that I get Baby Yoda. And now, since I have the figure, I can use either ability I have or that ability. I'm gonna use that ability that says treat a five, treat fives as any number, and treat it as a seven and discard those to score the card. That's the game, Jabba the Hutt lost. But that's it. This video was a little longer than I planned for it to be because I did a full demo game. But that's about all there is to it. It's kind of fun. One thing that's cool about it, you can buy other Something Wild sets and combine them. And when you combine them, you have the same, um, you add the tokens. So I think that's like a Mickey Mouse one. So when you grab a token, you can grab either the Yoda or the Mickey Mouse or whatever and, and play. The rules are the same across the series. It is a fun game. Sorry about the defeat job of the Hut, but he deserved it. But that is it for this this video on how to play and there's the demo. So if you would like to subscribe to the channel that would be so awesome and if you'd like to support us you could like this video and subscribe you can also check out tabletopjason.com for links to this and all the games I review here and if you'd like to see the card game I created 52 dragons you can go to 52 dragons.com where you can see sample games buy the game or sign up for patreon to receive new and exclusive cards each and every month I will be back soon with another video, so thanks for watching and have a great week.